What's up guys, welcome to the channel, Ricky Arnold here, and for our first video of 2019... What the heck was that? Oh, the battery died. <laughs> Fun. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So I figured with my first video of 2019, I better go out with a bang and do something pretty awesome. So I finally upgraded a camera that I have had for about four years. And uh, in the tech industry, that's quite a long time without upgrading something because that stuff is coming out constantly. Uh, so if you see the description of the video, you already know what it is and you're probably here for that. So let's go ahead and roll the intro and we'll get right into what this camera does. Let's go. Unboxing the GoPro Hero 7 was just about as easy as every other GoPro I've ever had and it includes just a couple accessories to get you started including your battery, your USB-C charging cable and two mounts for your helmets and then it also comes with a couple stickers for you and your get started guides. If you're new to the newest uh, GoPros then you'll be quite surprised like I am to find that the uh, SD card does not go in the normal slot that it used to go in, it actually goes in the door where the battery is kept. Speaking of that battery, um, if you've bought the GoPro Hero 5 or 6, the same batteries do work with the GoPro Hero 7, so if you've bought any of those or any extra batteries, then they should all work just fine. No surprise that the, uh, the way to turn it on is exactly the same. You just hold the button down and then wait till you hear the beeps or you see the red lights flash. You'll see the little on-to-screen display on the front turn on and then you can turn it around and start following the on-screen instructions which are super simple and they'll get you to download the app and go from there. Once you're inside the GoPro app, it makes it super easy for you just to connect to your new camera. Even if you have an existing camera, you can still pair another one. And once you do that, you can get right to the screen where it will let you update your firmware. Just make sure that you have enough battery in your camera when you do it because if you don't, you'll end up like me and you'll have to let their uh, battery charge before you start your new update. So once everything is updated and good to go, you can go ahead and get into the menu system and start looking at the multitude of different settings you can put your camera in. Now what settings you put your camera in is entirely up to you and what activity you're doing or what platform you're going to be posting these videos on. I can pretty much tell you that I'd have to put out an entire another video just to go over every one of these settings and what they all do. So if you guys want that, make sure you request that in the comments below. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple of things with the video and I will show you what each frame rate that I use looks like and what you guys can expect from this camera. Okay, so GoPro's main claim to, to fame with this new HyperSmooth technology is that you can take something like this, this huge monstrosity of a gimbal, and you can put it into a tiny package like this and you will get the same stabilized footage out of this guy right here. That is exactly what they claim. They claim that gimbals are dead and that you can get stabilized footage from something like this in this little guy right here. So, uh, does it actually work that way? Well, I was very surprised by it and I think you guys will be too. So let's go ahead and take a look at some video footage that I shot with this guy. Um, when HyperSmooth is enabled, I'll make sure that I put a little uh, asterisk down at the bottom so you guys know which video footage has it. Um, and you guys can be the judge for yourself to tell whether uh, it's gimbal-like or gimbal you know, killing or not. So let's go ahead and take a couple looks at some video footages here and then uh, you guys can be the judge. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, some of the snowboarding footage you're gonna see, I kind of messed up and didn't really check what my settings were on the camera. I know, a videographer doesn't check his settings, whatever, yeah. I was more concentrated on snowboarding and not falling, but uh, I didn't really check my settings initially with the camera. I kind of just turned it on and started videoing. So uh, some of these are in, I believe it's like 1440 or something like that, the setting that the camera was on by default. So there may be bars on the side of the video because it's not the right aspect ratio. It was like four by three instead of 16 by nine. So uh, just keep that in mind. And if it looks weird, uh, that's why, so. All right, what's up guys? We're out on a trail. I'm out here with my dog, taking him for a walk real quick to get a, uh, a quick couple tests of like the slow-mo and everything like that. And uh, I'm gonna basically go test what all of the uh, high frame rate uh, settings look like so you can slow it down 
get that super slow-mo stuff because I mean this is an action camera after all and that's what we want to do with it so let's go ahead and uh, play with Maverick here and uh, get some cool footage here we go Hey buddy. Hi. Maverick. Come here, buddy. Hey buddy. So I think my favorite feature of this new camera, other than all the super slow-mo settings that I uh, that I got to use with it, uh, is the new hyperlapse feature. Guys, I was just blown away with how cool this stuff looks. Uh, I took a couple of them and I'll show them to you right now. One feature of this camera that I was not expecting and honestly I didn't even know about before I bought it was uh, one of the photo features and that's the fact that you can take HDR photos with this camera right here. Uh, you literally just change a setting to HDR and it will take an HDR photo for you and it will process it as such. And I took a couple of photos of that setting on and I was so surprised with how cool these photos look. Uh, in certain lighting situations, these photos look really, really awesome, and I cannot believe that out of a small little camera like this, you can get really cool photos like that. So in action sports situations, you can get some really cool photos like these right here. Another really awesome thing from this camera, which was one of the reasons I really wanted to get it, is the audio improvement on this camera. So. I noticed this right away with just even playing back my videos uh, on my camera when I was recording. The audio is so far improved from the GoPro Hero 4 that I currently own. Uh, again, this this feature right there just pays for itself. So I'll let you know, I'll let you listen right here what my old GoPro Hero 4 footage sounded like and then what this new GoPro Hero 7 footage sounds like. Completely unedited, just raw out of the camera. So go ahead and take a listen. Dude, this looks so cool on the camera. Shake and bake. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> there we go. Yeah. So side note as well, sorry for the uh, the traffic noise over there. That's the highway next to me. Uh, so it's actually a good test to see how well this camera cuts down the background noise and everything. Um, and maybe my a little bit of editing will help with that too. But. Um, this is also at 4K, 24 frames a second, and this is what I normally always shoot in with my A6500. All right, and as you can see, I'm shooting now at 4K, 60 frames a second. So you can see my motions, they're a little bit less blurred, and uh, there's a little bit more motion. You can actually slow this down to 24 frames a second in post and get smooth footage with this too, uh, and get uh, slow-mo footage. So let's take a look at what that looks like real quick. GoPro, take a photo.
Okay, so as you guys can see, GoPro definitely came back with a vengeance with this new iteration of their uh, action camera. Um, and I am very, very impressed with it. I would love to hear what you guys think of the camera down in the comments below. Um, I am overjoyed with the, the quality of the camera, all of the new features. I really enjoy the hyper smooth uh, stabilization from this camera. I personally think it works very well. All of the type of things that I like to do so far, it has been nothing but awesome for me. Um, and I really, really enjoy the, uh, the hyperlapse feature. That is something that I would literally, if I had a GoPro Hero 6, I would probably upgrade to this camera just because of this new hyperlapse feature, guys. Because with this new feature, it makes making those cool hyperlapse uh, photo, photo shots super, super easy. And you can even move while you're doing them. You don't have to tripod your camera or anything else. So I am very, very happy that GoPro uh, threw that in there and uh, kept the price exactly what it should be for all of those cool features. So what do you guys think of this camera? Again, uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, I love to hear from you guys. If you guys enjoyed my review of this camera, make sure you give it a like. And then uh, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel as well if you guys want to see more content like this or any of my other tech-related videos. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, I'm looking forward to 2019, guys, and I'm getting a lot, lot more content out there for you guys, and we are going to keep on moving. All right, since Maverick was basically the star of some of the video footage, I'll let him sign off for you guys. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my dad's channel because he'd really appreciate it. Bye!